Hello YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's getting along well. I want to read to you another devotional. This devotional is entitled Persevering Through Silence. And I'll be reading from my Bible, Job 23. Chapter 23 <clears throat> Then Job answered and said, Today also my complaint is bitter. My hand is heavy on account of my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him that I might come even to his seat. I would lay my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would know what he would answer me and understand what he would say to me. Would he contend with me in the greatness of his power? No, he would pay attention to me. There an upright man could argue with him, and I would be acquainted forever by my judge. Behold, I go forward, but he is not there, and backward, but I do not perceive him. On the left hand, when he is working, I do not behold him. He turns to the right hand, but I do not see him see him, but he knows the way that I take when he, when he has tried me, I shall come out as gold. My foot has held fast to his steps. I have kept his ways and have not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my portion of food. But he is unchangeable, and who can turn him back? What he desires, that he does, for he will complete what he, ha what he appoints for me, and many such things are in his mind. Therefore I am terrified at his presence. When I consider, I am in dread of him. God has made my heart faint. The Almighty has terrified me. Yet I am not silent because of the darkness, nor because thick darkness covers my face. Whew. All right. All right. Amen. Mr. Bob Whedon. Now the devotion. There are times in life when we can identify with Job's frustration at God's silence. When we long to hear from the Lord but our petitions go unanswered, then feeling unsure of what to do, we think, should I just give up on prayer? Am I to assume that if the Lord doesn't come to my aid, I should take matters in my own hand? We might even feel tempted to become consumed with anger toward God. Though these are normal responses, we should reject all these possibilities, all three possibilities. Scripture teaches us to pers persevere in prayer and depend fully on the Lord for our needs instead of looking to ourselves. This means we can safely submit to God and trust Him in our trials. The story of Job also offers encouragement. It reminds us that even if the Lord is silent, He knows the way we take. And, he, and after he has tried us, 
we shall come forth as gold. In the meantime, we're to hold fast to God's path and wisdom. The more we treasure his word, the, the more closely we'll follow him in obedience. Like Job, we don't th know all that the Lord ha is doing in heaven, but he is always working on our behalf. Be encouraged by these truths today and keep persevering in prayer. Ooh. Amen. Ooh, good reading. All right. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you got something from it. And until I read to you again, God bless you all, and goodbye.